damn you! God damn you! YouTube, this is Practice Prepper, and in this video we're going to go over the steps to make a very simple uh, kind of rudimentary dam that you can make with uh, simple materials. Uh, if you're ever in a collapse situation, once you get your survival knife and high capacity magazine needs out of the way, you're going to probably be interested in other things like taking a drink of water uh, and other other less important things than all you know uh, the latest tech gear <laughs> and survival gear and everything so having access to uh, clean water or at least a large volume of water you can use for cleaning and all that kind of stuff is really handy now if you're in an area that just has a small stream coming through it's very easy to create kind of a pool around that now there are a lot of techniques about using driven stakes and long boards and things like that to create a dam and uh, those are all fairly well known but I uh, was recently playing in the woods with my boy and we came up with, I don't know if we invented, I'm sure other people have done this before, but we came up with another way of doing a dam using firewood chunks. We had access to a bunch of firewood chunks. We didn't have any tools beyond that, so we weren't able to really cut down any logs or anything. But we had these chunks of firewood, and we were able to make a bridge slash dam, which redirected the flow of a stream, made a pool of water, and uh, was a fun project for us to do together. And like I said, in a disaster or a collapse environment, a crisis when you need access to water, it's nice to be able to kind of get a pool of water. Because when you're trying to get drinking water, and you're trying to get it from just a very small... Uh, a brook or something like that. There's a lot of uh, you know sediment being constantly churned up in that brook. It's going to clog up your filters faster. And in addition to that, um, sometimes you don't necessarily want to be pumping out for dr creating drinking water. You may just want to be able to get a bucket to wash with or something like that. So it's nice to have a pool for that purpose. So the way that we approached it was, if you imagine, this is our visualization here. We're going to build the, uh, the dam across here. You're on the water side over there. I'm on the dry side. The water's coming across here, and I want to block the water here and kind of redirect it and then I'm going to create an overflow kind of section on one side so that it doesn't overtop the dam which is very important. So what I'm going to do is just lay down these chunks of firewood and between each one at the bottom I'm putting a smaller stick down there. We'll do another one right in the middle there and at this point the water is going right underneath these so this is not a dam yet but we're creating the, the structure to make one. Okay, so we'll just do it four wide. You'd you know make this as wide as long as you want to, and as wide as long and as long as you have resources to do. Uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, be putting some sticks up in the upper layer here, and then we're going to make a second layer. But before we do that, what we want to get into is really uh, packing these holes so that water is not just permeating right through the dam. And the way to do that is with leaves. Now here I've just got a bunch of dry leaves because I'm not right next to a stream, but presumably if you're next to a stream, you have access to dry leaves, grass, any kind of organic material. And what you're gonna do with that stuff is just shove it into all these little holes. And the leaves themselves are not going to act as the seal, but what the leaves do is the leaves act as sort of a screen to catch the materials that are actually gonna be your seal. And that is the dirt that I'm kind of mixing in with the leaves right here. So we're shoving those into all the cracks and crevices right here, right along. And we'll do another layer here, laying the sticks in there. And the sticks help to hold the leaves so that they don't just slide right through with the water pressure. Do another one right there. And then we're gonna take some more leaves. We're gonna be shoving, well, you don't wanna get a lot of these sticks in there because they keep your leaves from packing in. But you wanna get leaves really packed into those holes. And then we're gonna be taking mud and packing mud down into the holes now, if all you have access to is sand, you can use sand, but sand is not nearly gonna be as effective as like a good goopy kind of mud, you know, decomposed material, stuff like that. And you're gonna wanna throw that all in here. So the logs are providing your basic structure, and then you're gonna kind of plaster with as much mud and leaves and guck and all that kind of stuff. Now, it's a great way of getting clean water, right? <laughs> well, all that stuff is naturally available anyway. You're gonna push it up here, and the pressure is gonna be pushing all of that silt up against your, your dam. You wanna make sure that you have a way for the water to get around it. You don't want the water to just rise right up and over it and flow over it. It'll just kind of wash your dam away. So what you want to do is have on one side or the other uh, a spillway where the water can rise to a certain level, 
and then it'll overtop your spillway and that'll be the way that the water doesn't overtop your dam. Uh, in addition to this being a valuable uh, resource in a collapse or in a crisis situation where you want access to water, it's also just a great project for you and your family to, to engage in together. You know, just uh, not necessarily in a disaster scenario, but you know, just now uh, going out into the woods practicing these kind of things. I, most kids, I know not all kids, but most kids and my boy certainly love playing out in the mud and the water and everything like that. So this is something that I was able to do with him. He had a great time doing it. He learned a little bit about how to redirect water and it's just a great uh, sort of family activity. And because this is a family activity video, I'm sure this is another one that YouTube is going to block, uh, you know, for ads, it's offensive to advertisers. <laughs> I don't know, whenever I do like a spend time with your family video, that's always one that like gets flagged as being offensive. I don't know. So, I'm sorry to everyone that I've offended with, <laughs> offended with this video. So that's it. Get outside, enjoy nature, practice these skills, have a good time. It gets a little exercise and fresh air. And also, you're building up skills that you can use in a crisis if you might need them and you've satisfied all of those specialty tech survival gear, survival blades and magazines and all, <laughs> all that other stuff and you actually want to get a drink of water. These are great skills to have. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.